Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Stuff by JP. So in this video, we will see deformation of a body subjected to axial forces with all the basic concepts and one problem. So watch the video till end. Watch the formation. So deformation can be defined as the change in size and shape of a body or member caused due to external force acting on the body. Especially due to axial force. What is axial force? So axial force is nothing but the force acting on the axis of the member or body. So it can be on x axis, y axis or z axis. So if the force is acting on the centroid, it is called as concentric force. And if it is acting at some distance, it is called as eccentric force. Okay. So basically, there are two types of axial forces. So first is tensile force which we call as pull force which acts away from the body and the second one is compressive force which we call as push force which acts towards the body okay so for better understanding see this So the deformation is based on one simple principle which is called as principle of superposition. So it states that when a number of forces are acting on the body, the resulting strain that is nothing but deformation will be equal to the algebraic sum of strains caused by individual force. So in short we can say that the total deformation of the body will be equal to the algebraic sum of the deformation caused in each individual section. So let's see one example based on this. So before that, we will see the stepwise procedure. So our first step is to draw FBD. That is nothing but free body diagram of each member. Okay. And find the force in each member. And our second step is to find deformation of each member. The deformation is denoted by delta L. And our third step is to find the total deformation by adding all the deformations in each member. So the total deformation is nothing but the algebraic sum of the deformation. Okay, so here we have a question. A bar of uniform cross-sectional area, 100 mm square is subjected to the force as shown in the figure. Calculate the change in length of the bar. Take E is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per mm square. The change in length of bar is nothing but deformation and E is nothing but modulus of elasticity. So we will require this diagram. So let's put it here. So let's start with our first step that is FPD free body diagram. So before that we will number the members. We will name them. Member 1 will be AB. Member 2 will be BC. And member 3 will be CD. Okay, so let's start with FBD of first member. So the length of first member is given 300 mm. First member is AB. Okay. So for first member FBD, we have to consider the leftmost force in the diagram okay so the leftmost force is 1 kN which is acting towards the body so in FBD show 1 kN force on both the side acting towards the body so now let's see the FBD of third member the length of third member is given 600 mm third member is CD okay, so for FBD of third member consider the rightmost force so in the question we can see that the rightmost force is 2 kN so put 2 kN force acting towards the body on both the sides okay so for section 2 or member 2 first draw a section line as shown in the figure so now let's draw member number two. So 
so the length is 400 mm number is bc so for finding the force in member bc let's consider the left of the section line okay so in the left of the section line we have two forces 1 kN force towards the body and 3 kN force away from the body so as the force 1 kN is towards the body it will be minus 1 and 3 will be positive so we will get our force for BC that is plus 2 kN so it is, as it is plus the force will be acting away from the body it will be a tensile force okay so let's show in the FBD 2 kN of force on both the sides away from the body so let's move to our second step so our second step is find deformation that is delta L of each member so now from FBD we have P1 that is force in first member it is 1 kN so it is acting towards the body so it will be negative so minus 1 kN as it is a compressive force so always remember when it is a compressive force it will be negative and when it is a tensile force it will be positive so P2 will be plus 2 kN as it is a tensile force and P3 will be minus 2 kN because it is a compressive force next we have L1 300 mm L2 400 mm and L3 600 mm so let's move to our main step that is deformation it is given by the formula delta L is equal to PL upon AE okay so first let's find delta L of first member so it will be P1 L1 divided by AE so put the values of P1 L1 and AE so remember one thing the P1 we have it is in kilonewton so we have to convert it in newton by multiplying it into 10 to the power 3 okay so we will get our delta L1 that is nothing but minus 0.015 mm similarly we will find delta L2 that is deformation in second member so it will be P2 L2 divided by AE by putting the values of P2 L2 and AE we will get DL2 so delta L2 is plus 0.04 mm so similarly we will find delta L3 P3 L3 divided by AE with the values of P3 L3 and AE so we have delta L3 is equal to minus 0.06 mm okay so, so now we have deformation in each member so our third step is to find the total deformation by adding all the deformations so our delta L total will be delta L1 plus delta L2 plus delta L3 so by adding all the deformations we will get our total deformation so our total deformation minus 0.035 mm so this is our answer okay so here minus sign indicates that there is decrease in length why because of compressive force the compressive force is overcoming the tensile force that's why there is decrease in length okay so here we have some important notes The net deformation it is nothing but the total deformation can be negative or positive if the summation of the deformation that is PL upon A is positive then it indicates that there will be elongation the body is subjected to elongation why because the tensile force is more compared to the compressive force okay so if the deformation is positive the body elongates similarly if the summation of PL upon A is negative it indicates that 
it indicates that the body compresses or shortens.